Um, this is this can be a very powerful tool. Um, it allows you to cascade uh, lookup values and set specific lookup values based on another lookup, um, which can be very handy. Uh, as you can see, we have an, a, an example here. Um, we mentioned uh, only including uh, contacts where the type type equals employee. So if you have a, a contact lookup and you only want to display employee contacts um, based on based on a field set on the on the uh, contact, you can do that here. And I will oh here. Um, so this does explain. So it shows different subtype options depending on the type, and this does uh, require you to have a type column in this subtype lookup object. So it's a little bit more involved. Um, we actually have to go on the back end and add an additional field. Um, it's, it's pretty simple and we'll walk you through it real quick. So I've actually already created uh, one example here um, and I'll just show you, quickly show you. So we have this industry field. The industry field is an out of box field. Um, and these hey, are Chris. some of the, yes. Sorry, I don't know if it's just me, but um, it, it didn't switch. I see the number two, like you switch back to your screen, but I don't see it. Oh, there you go. Is that better? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so this is uh, this is the account section and here's the industry field, which is an out of box field. Um, and there's, there's a number of different options in here for industries for the account. What I added was the sub industry field here. And so you'll see when I click it, there's no values um, because it's actually driven based on the values in this field. So you'll see once I actually select an industry here, now I have sub industries populate. And this is this is what a, a filtered lookup is, or at least one of the, the uses of them. And as I mentioned, they can be pretty powerful. Um, so I, I did open the, the section wizard here for the, uh, the account page and we'll go to the business rules section. I'm also going to show you, so um, as I mentioned, um, to set this up, we're going to have to do some additional functionality. Um, and that's that's what we have here. You'll you'll actually go to the, the little gear icon to take you to the system designer, and then you'll go to advanced settings, and that will open this page. We'll take a look at the business rules first. So here's that sub industry I mentioned but we're gonna go ahead and create a, a new one. And what we're going to do is based on the sub industry, um, if, it's, if it is a software related sub industry, we're going to give you a couple options for different types of software that you might use in the industry. Um, for whatever reason, you might wanna keep track of that for this account. So we'll go ahead and create uh, this new field first. And we'll call this um, software type. We'll create a new lookup. Call this account software type. a list. Can you guys still hear me all right? Yeah, yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, just wanna make sure. Looks like we had a little hiccup here. Well, I'll go ahead and, well, I'll show you the sub-industry example um, at the very least. 
so for the sub industry, so I essentially added this field sub industry um, and also created a lookup, um, a new lookup for it. And then on the back end, we have to go into that lookup. So that's this here, user sub industry lookup. And we have to add the, the parent lookup field um, to the object. So this, because the sub industry is based on the industry field, we're gonna need to add that industry field uh, to the object, which is what I did here. And you'll see you select the lookup here. Um, so it's just like if you've ever added fields um, on the back end here, uh, it's, it's the same thing. You just have to make sure you add that parent lookup field. So once that's saved and published, then you can go back to, looks like we're, okay, there we go. So once that's saved and published, then you can come back here and go to business rules. And um, you'll also have to, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, but you also have to add the lookup values, um, which that is also, you'll get to from the gear icon here as well. So you go to lookups and this is the lookup here. And I've added all of these values. And then this is the industry. You'll see here, I'll create another one. So let's, let's go off of the, IT companies and let's just add IT hardware as a sub industry. So what this is doing, you're establishing what the parent um, lookup value is that then describes what is available in the sub industry lookup, the, the child lookup. So then we can go add our business rule as we did here. And all you actually do here is you'll add a filter for field values. Here, I'll go ahead and do this again, just to walk you through it. And in here, we're actually going to select sub industry. And it's based on, so since we added the industry column to the sub industry, we'll select that. And then here we will select a field. It's based on the industry field. So essentially what this is saying is that the, the sub industry value, um, the, the sub industry values that are, are available are equal to whatever that industry field setting is in our lookup here. And then there, there's actually a couple of new settings. These previously weren't available. Um, you actually had to alter code um, to, make, to make these uh, a little more useful, but they've added the options now, which is handy. So you can clear the industry field if, if it's modified. And then you can also populate the sub-industry field uh, or populate the industry field if the sub-industry field is populated, something that also previously wasn't available. Um, this won't be as useful in this instance, but you can imagine if you have these filtered lookups and you just went ahead and selected um, something out of the child, uh, the child lookup. So the sub industry, for instance, it would just automatically populate the industry field. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit apply, take us back to section wizard and save. All right. So not much will have changed. We didn't we didn't actually go through the new example, but you'll be able to see that. So currently there's nothing popping up because there's nothing set for this industry. If we change it to IT companies, for instance, we will see hardware and software and the, the new value that we added IT hardware. Um, and we go ahead and change it to something else, consulting, and we'll see different values here for marketing software. Um, 
same as could be said for manufacturing. Um, so this just allows you to dynamically um, filter the values that are in a child uh, lookup based on, on the parent lookup, which definitely comes in 